high grade 11 student our study today is about the triangles how many triangles you can draw if given some of the sides and the angles first of all if three angle first of all before i start if you have a triangle abc for angle a we're going to name the opposite side for angle a by small a the opposite side for angle b is a small b and the opposite side for angle c is a small c first of all if three angles are given only we have infinitely many you know this from elementary classes if the three sides measure are given the three measure side we have one triangle if given two sides for example this side and that side and the angle in between so this is side angle side one unique triangle if given two angles it means you can get the third one by 180 minus these two and any side so two angles and any side one unique triangle and the the the, the case where we don't know we need to to study it is when given for example two sides for example that side and that side not the angle in between not for example here i'm going to give you angle a so in that case we don't know we must study so uh, we're going to to take now examples uh, about uh, that condition when you have two sides and not angle in between but before let me tell you if you have angle a and you have not included the opposite side of a for example you have bc so here we have one triangle why because opposite side is not in included so this will be the two adjacent sides for the angle so a with b and c however if i give you angle b and i include directly its opposite side with any other side so this is the condition we don't know for example you have angle b given side b is given and side a is not given so in that case we don't know because this angle is not given so we're going to study that case but before if you have any triangle abc and you draw the height h we know that sine a is opposite sides over hypotenuse so side a angle a, if i want to find the height so uh, sine a will be h over c so if you want to find the height it will be this uh, uh, this hypotenuse times sine of angle a if you want to use it here the height h will be sine c times what side a all right here i have cases of the side side angle that i was talking about if it's acute or obtuse if you have a triangle which is acute like this condition if this side suppose that side and that side are given this side here and that side is given so and the angle here a is given so you find first of all h by doing this side times sine of angle a if a is smaller than the height so no triangle so we cannot it will not pick it will not uh, cut this side so it, if it's less than h no triangle if it's this side equal to h it, the, the triangle will be right only i have one if i have a condition that this side given here is bigger than b and the triangle is acute so i have only one i cannot draw from the other side however if i draw from the other side the triangle will be obtuse if this side here is between these two between h which is b sine a and b it's in between so i have two triangle one from inside and from outer however if it's obtuse if a is smaller than b no triangle because i cannot join and if a is bigger than b i have one condition so let us summarize it if you have this triangle suppose given angle c a here i gave you this side and that side so here the condition is unknown because the angle in between is not given so first of all i find h by doing h equal side c times sine a if first of all a is bigger than c is one triangle if a is bigger than c one triangle if a is small uh, if if a is smaller than h that side h if this side here is smaller than h no triangle if a is between that side and that side between h and c i have two triangles and if a equal to h i have one right 
triangle. Uh, I, here I have examples. I want to uh, prove it. First condition, two angles are given infinitely many. Three sides are given, as we said, above one unique triangle. If I gave you angle A with CB, as you can see, small a is not given. So I have side angle side. You can check here side angle side one unique triangle if given for example two angles and this side any two angles and the side one unique triangle if i take now that condition here i gave you angle b but uh, you have side opposite to angle b is given with another side so here we don't know so i have angle b 40 here i gave you c is 10 facing angle c and and this is small b facing angle b is 8. so what do i do first as you can see we do we find h h is sine 40 times 10 6.43 you can realize if this is 6.43 and this is 10 b is between these two because b is between two i can draw two triangles another condition here i have b is 40 you have a small c is 10 b is 11. since b is bigger than 10 11 is bigger than 10 directly one triangle here i have c 70 small c 4.5 and b is 5. here i do h sine 70. h sine 70 is 4.7 this is 4.7 and but this is 4.5 it's a smaller so i can say no triangle this condition you have 45, this is 10, this is 10 radical 2. If you do H, which is 10 radical 2 sine 45, you have 10. Since these two are equal, I have one right triangle. Now I take the condition of obtuse. Since 11 is bigger than 10, I have one triangle. Here, since 4.9, you can check. You can take your time and draw it again. Since 4.9 is less than 5, so because obtuse, no triangle. Here now, I gave you a summary problem of everything we covered. Suppose you have a triangle ABC, small c is 50. The side opposite to uh, angle C is small x, and the side opposite to angle B is 10. Find all possible values of x to have uh, to know number of possible triangles so now first of all we do we find h h is 10 sine 50. now case one if x bigger than 10 or equal i have one triangle if x is between h and 10 between 10 sine 50 and 10 so i have two triangles if x equal to h 10 sine 50 i have one right triangle and if x is less than h I don't have any triangle. The last example for obtuse, you have this condition, this is 100 obtuse. If x less than uh, 5, this is 5, no triangle. But if x is bigger than 5, we have one triangle. I hope that you got this lesson and see you tomorrow in school.